वेलकम टू फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एटसेट्रा डॉट कॉम्स ऑनलाइन ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट अस ऑन अवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एटसेट्रा डॉट कॉम और फॉर एनी स्पेशल ट्रेनिंग नीम्स यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट अस एट ट्रेनिंग एट द रेट फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एटसेट्रा डॉट कॉम फॉर डेडिकेटेड ट्रेडिंग ट्यूटोरियल सेशन यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट अस ऑन अवर वेबसाइट दैट्स एच टी टी पी कॉल एन स्लैश स्लैश फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एटसेट्रा डॉट कॉम्स वेर यू फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिकल्स एक्सप्लेन विथ पे ऑफ फंक्शन डिटेल्ड एग्जाम्पल्स एंड ग्राफ्स ऑन हाउ टू ट्रेड ऑप्शन यूजिंग डिफरेंट ऑप्शन स्ट्रैटेजीज There's also a search feature available on this website where which you can use to search for your desired option strategy and browse through the results. In this set of video tutorials, we'll see how to trade a long call option. Let's say you, as an option trader, are bullish on IBM stock, and you are thinking about trading on a long call option. Assume that IBM stock is actually trading at dollar 50 per share as of now and you believe that ibm stock price will reach around dollar 60 70 dollar 80 or so in the next two months time so basically you have a bullish view on uh, ibm stock price so you have two options here one is that you actually buy the ibm stock uh, and the second one is that you buy the ibm call option so let's see the scenarios one at a time in terms of profitability calculations so assume that you go for choice one where you are actually buying the ibm stock at dollar 50 so this is the amount of money that you have to invest that is the net capital you will need so assume that your prediction comes true and ibm stock price reaches dollar 60 so your profit comes to dollar 10 per share in terms of percentage your profit is net capital divided by net net profit divided by net capital that would be dollar 10 divided by dollar 50 taking it to dollar uh, taking it to 20% of profit then we have choice 2 where instead of buying the ibm stock you actually buy ibm stock option or simple option or a long call option whatever name you are comfortable with Uh, this option you buy with a strike price of dollar fifty, but this is not the actual price that you pay. This is just the theoretical strike price of the option. The actual price that you pay for buying this option is dollar five. That's called the option premium. So this is your net capital invested. And assume the same scenario that your prediction comes true and IBM stock price actually reaches dollar sixty, and hence the option uh, premium reaches dollar fifty. So your profit in this case is dollar fifteen minus dollar five. That's dollar ten per option. In terms of percentage, now this is what differentiates. In terms of percentage, the net profit divided by net capital takes you to dollar ten divided by dollar five, which results in a two hundred percent profit calculation. So, in case of choice one, where you are actually buying the IBM stock, the profit in the same price movements. is restricted to do, uh, to just 20% but in case of going with the ibm stock option the profit has risen significantly by 10 times from 20% to 200% so that's where the option pr pricing and mechanics come in and they provide you with more uh, potential to generate profits although there are risk associated with it in the same magnitude but let's first delve into the payoff function for long call option uh here in this case what we are doing is we are buying a long call option on IBM with a strike price of $50 per share so this is how the basic payoff function for a long call option would look like so what this payoff function tells me is that as long as the ibm stock price remains under dollar 50 as an option trader as an op as a long call option buyer i will not get anything so this is indicated by this zero line below dollar 50 as soon as the ibm stock price start reaching above 50 and 
and continues to go forward my profits will continue to increase linearly if it reaches 60 then this is my profit if it reaches 75 then this is my profit if it reaches 100 then this is my profit so at 100 I'm going to get 50 uh, dollars as the payoff as the profit at somewhere around 80 I would get 30 dollars and that is coming because of that differential with respect to the strike price however we need to know we need to account for for the price that we are paying here in this case we are paying dollar five for buying this option so this dollar five needs to be accounted for in this payoff function and the way to do it is a simple way uh, to understand this concept of how to account for prices is that when you're buying something you're paying it so that money is actually going out of your pocket so that's why it's an outflow it's kind of negative uh, money outflow from you so this entire theoretical graph this maroon color graph uh, has to be shifted down in the negative region uh, because the money is going out so this is how this graph would be adjusted for now what has happened is this particular graph has shifted downwards by the amount of uh, option premium that we have paid everywhere it has gone down by dollar five so this is how you adjust for uh, pricing that you pay for an option now uh, if you look closely at this graph uh, the green colored one which has the value of dollar five or the pricing in uh, considered it tells you the break even points basically if the ibm stock price remains below dollar 50 you are going to lose all the dollar 5 that you have uh, paid to get into this option so this is a 100 percent loss because you invested five dollars and if the strike uh, if the price remains below dollar 50 you are not going to get anything between 50 and 55 in this region in this region your profit starts to increase but it is still negative because it is still below this zero line so if say the ibm stock price reaches 53 then this would be your loss that is you will lose two dollars for uh, a price of 53 as IBM underlying strike price but if it happens to reach dollar 60 then this is your profit that is you'll reach receive net five dollars in terms of uh, if, the, if the IBM stock price reaches 80 then this is your profit so you're going to receive dollar 25 uh, how do we consider this theoretically in terms of uh, the loss scenario suppose that you buy IBM stock not the IBM option you're buying it at dollar 50 your prediction comes uh, incorrect and uh, IBM stock falls to dollar 50 so you book your losses and you make a loss of dollar 10 per share so your percentage loss is actually only 20 percent but in case of going with IBM stock option uh, by paying the premium of dollar five you are actually losing that entire premium because your profit would be zero so your loss will be hundred percent and that is what is indicated here if the IBM stock price remains below dollar fifty you are going to lose the entire option premium that would be a hundred percent loss but if your uh, uh, prediction comes true and IBM stock price keeps moving upwards and upwards the profit potential is huge so that's the uh, benefit as well as disadvantage of trading in options